If there's water, Caesar will find it. <laughs> Cute little stream. One of the things about fall hiking is that path is pretty covered with leaves. And so it's very hard to, to uh, figure out where a good foot place is. So good hiking boots are pretty essential, I think. I hike in sneakers all spring and summer once it's not all mud anymore. These fire tower challenges seem to be pretty, um, pretty popular. And why is the battery, I just put a brand new battery in here and it says it's got one bar left. GoPro, I'm so disappointed in you. I would never ever buy another GoPro. All right, we've hit the top, the two mile trail, and this is the steep trail. We're at the crossroads. I wonder where that, where it continues to go, but there's the trail sign, which is a very nice thing to see. One mile to go. We just met two uh, lovely girls from some college that told us that it's an easy hike. It's just straight up. So, we're on the road for that. Just a mile of this. <laughs> you can see this trail we're going up. Is really a washed out stream bed <laughs> and it's all these little boulders that uh, you have to try to figure out where to step but this is one steep trail I wish I had four paw drive like some of my companions here do uh, nothing about this trail has changed <laughs> there are a few flat rest area spots but it's pretty rocky and pretty much uphill. I just passed a group of about eight, a Doberman and a, I don't know, mini pit bull mix. Um, poorly behaved, of course. They came over to sniff Dakota and then <laughs> tried to bite him. Mm. But the boys were good. Dakota and I are doing all right. Caesar's so just having a ball. I guess we'll. <sighs> the uh, forest is changing. It's coming much more hemlock, pine, cedar. The trail's also been changing. It's getting more moss and slippery. <laughs> but it looks like we might be leveling out just a little. It's not quite as steep as it was. Dakota says he's running up to the level spot and waiting. <laughs> There's a big boulder covered with ferns that are called rock top polypody. Polypody uh, stitchums or something like that. And I like the trees that are on top. <laughs> I 
the tops of the mountains in the Adirondacks can be very interesting. Some of them have real alpine vegetation, just like the tundra up in uh, way northern Canada. It's a combination of elevation, cold, and wind. Rough, mean winters. Yeah, it's definitely getting a little easier. It's not quite as bad as it was. They keep getting blocked by a dog. <laughs> Youth is wasted on the young. <sighs> Caesar, you're staying with us, buddy. You may have to pull me up this hill. I swear to God, this mountain just suddenly grew another thousand feet. We are taking a break. Okay, it's quite a few people going up and down. Tough, tough trail. It goes up pretty quick too. There's no bushwhack around here though. This is this is thick vegetation, boulders, moss. This is one nice, neat area. You can't do anything up here though, than, but hike kind of trail. And the trails get pretty, pretty well worn. Yeah, it's those guys that we passed. And we got more hiking. <laughs> it, just, it seems to be getting steeper than it levels. It gets steeper and then levels. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never uh, done this mountain before, but it's reading it online. It's all in the last mile. Yeah, it's, it's just a mile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Caesar, come on, you guys, get out of here. Dakota, mind your manners. Get, come on. Really, this mountain is growing. <laughs> or we're sliding down one of the two. I don't see any evidence of the top from here now. We've gone at least another 20 minutes. Two hour climb for a one hour mile, for a one mile hike. Dakota, wait for me. Come here. Stay there. Oh my goodness. I think we made it to the top. At the top of this mountain, there's a helicopter pad. How cool is that? We could have taken a helicopter down or up. I dare say the GoPro cannot do this justice. How'd you get up there, silly? No, no, no. Okay, Caesar, come here. Come down there. So, just down the trail from the helicopter pad is 
the fire tower. Wow, that's a lot of stairs. Yeah, that's really cold at the top. No elevator, huh? That's yeah. <laughs> one sad looking picnic table. I wonder who carried that up. We made it. We're at the top. Now I gotta climb the fire tower. This is the tallest fire tower in New York State. And if you can hear the wind whistling through the wires up at the top, I'm not sure I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I just ate a peanut butter cracker, mountaintop snack. Um, I won't be able to talk for about an hour without trying to get the peanut butter out of my teeth. But for you guys, I'm going to try to go up there and show you what the Adirondack trees look like in the fall. I may have to change my pants afterwards. God, this never ends. Oh look, I could have taken the stairs on the side if I wanted to. You don't really need to go to the top. It's the view from almost the top. <laughs> the wind's a little heavy. I don't know what I'm looking at in what direction. Should have brought a compass. But the uh, colors are past peak. You see a lot of, a lot of yellow and brown. Not a lot of red. That must be the high peaks way over there. It's a pretty neat. Pretty neat view. All right, I'll go the rest of the way. It's cold up here though. <sighs> Last little bit is a ladder. Can't do that. There's a solar panel up here. Hey, the GPS says really 1.2 miles and 3.773. Is he gonna jump? If he jumps, I stay. <laughs> Where are you? Video recording everything? Yep. Here? Yep. Amazing. It'll all be on YouTube. <laughs> Well, we had a great hike. The boys are a little tired. They don't, uh, they want to be lifted in and out of the car. Um, and uh, they're not frisky about jumping in and out of the trailer either. But um, that's a hard hike. It's, uh, it is three miles each way, six miles round trip. Um, I measured twice with the GPS and got three or 1.2 miles 
to the tower. I think it might be just one mile to the heliport. <laughs> There's a heliport up there. Big wooden uh, platform, big enough for a helicopter to land on. Um, if you're thinking of going up there, maybe that's a good way to try to go. <laughs> we're, we're, it's a gorgeous day. It's uh, 50 degrees out. When we got back, the trailer was 85 inside. It was really nice. Um, but we're not going to stay because um, the boys are kind of hurting and they like to be back in their home. And it's a four and four hour drive, four and a half hour drive. So some good video, I think. Met a lot of people who recognized me. <laughs> That's getting scary now. It's uh, there's a lot of people that uh, in the Adirondacks that follow my channel. So thank you for watching and uh, keep up. Keep some comments going so I know who you are. And if you met me on the, uh, if you met me on the, trail let me know anyways keep watching subscribe if you haven't and uh, we'll have we'll probably split this up into two or three videos so keep watching the rest of the week <laughs> see you later